This is Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast. This episode, I want to just give you a quick overview of an application that I really like, which is called Live 3D Interior. Correction, Live Interior 3D Pro. It allows you to build interior spaces. It uh, allows you to design or redesign your spaces, both in two, 2D and 3D views. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just open up a new sample product project real quick and show you some different features. So here you can see a range of different bedroom types uh, as well as homes and apartments. Let's just go ahead and select one here. Here you're looking at the floor plan of the apartment. And here's where you can go and add different elements. Let's just start with the left hand side. You have building elements, so you have your wall panels here on the left. You click the drop, you also have your um, furniture elements. We can also have plants, appliances, armchairs, beds, fireplaces, the works. Here's where you map out your terrain. So let's say, for example, you wanted to add another wall here. You just simply drag it out into the frame and then drag it where you want it to go. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Now, what's nice about Live Interior 3D Pro is that you can also view it in 3D mode. So here's actually a split view. And here I'm using my trackpad to go in and out, but you can also use your arrows as well. Uh, you can use the hand tool to tilt and then bring your, use your arrows to either go in or away you can use arrows to rotate around uh, and then use the, the hand tool to drag your space around you can use a trackpad or use a trackpad you can scroll out or use the arrow keys and then tilt once again you can also view alone in 3D view or split view or go back to the floor plan view. So every time you make an adjustment to one of these, that adjustment will appear in the 3D view. So here I'm going to go to, I'm going to extend this wall here. I go back to 3D view and you can see that this wall has been extended. It's really that simple. And you can go in and change the colors of your walls as well either in 3d viewer or in 2d view let's go to 3d view here and um, use the hand tool and tilt this up a little bit and let's say if I wanted to go ahead and change the color of this wall you're gonna pull up inspector and then go through all your colors you have matte paint uh, you have all different options metals leather uh, let's just say I want to go ahead and make a red wall here it's really that simple. I just change the wall to red. So you can go through, uh, arrange different color schemes for your rooms. Uh, you can add pictures to the wall, windows, doors, the whole nine yards. I mean, it's truly amazing. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you an example of something that I created myself. Uh, this is a, a view of a gallery uh, where I work. I work at a museum. So I'm going to scroll out. And what I did was I wanted to create this for docents to become more familiar with the collections and how they're displayed. This happened to coincide with the, a new reinstallation. So as you scroll out here, you can see all the, the galleries that I set up. I'm going to show you both views so you can see the floor plan view. Well, actually, let me start with the floor plan view. Here is the floor plan view. Get rid of this uh, inspector window here. Here's the, the 2D plan of the galleries. Uh, to the left is where you enter the gallery space. And here are all the different galleries that are arranged throughout. I'm going to show you the split view. Here's what those rooms look like in 3D. Again, you go through and you measure the height of your walls. This is all done in the inspector. Where you, um, oops, wrong button. And here you can actually go in and Control the thickness, the length, uh, the whole nine yards.
you can also export these views too and the export feature as a QuickTime VR and you can share it with others. You can also export them as 2D images as well. And it, what it allows you to do is basically go through the gallery space and kind of browse the galleries. And it's really uh, that simple. I use the arrow keys a lot and the hand tool to tilt so I can get the perspective that I want and then I'll use the arrow keys to go in. Or to rotate around. And as you can see, there are pictures on the wall. These are actual paintings that coincide with the paintings that are on view in the gallery. So if you have a gallery of images, you can import them into your project. You also access, have access to Google Images online. So if you want to insert some of the, all the many different elements that are available on, on Google's 3D warehouse, you can do that. Um, but it really doesn't require a whole lot of technical skill. I mean, I think anyone can figure out how to use this. And just take some time and fool around with all the different elements and getting everything set up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. My name is Tim Brown. Hope to see you next time. Peace.